You had a new movie come out called Made in Italy. So good. With, with your son. You and Michael. Yeah. Um, yes. And this is, I'm so looking forward to seeing this. I have not seen it yet. And I'm going to watch it on, on um, Apple. But this is, I mean, the, the, uh, the trailer made me cry, frankly. Because it's it's just very it's touching great. to see the two of you together, and he's so and, good. You know, he's he's. I'm very proud of him, Andy. I'm not going to yeah. blow smoke up and up his anus mm-hmm. or anything, but he's uh, he does have a presence, Michael. He, he does. really does, and and the subject matter is was is very close to home. You know, and that we mm. you know losing my wife, Michael losing his mother. And that that is part of the story of Made in Italy. And uh, it was quite cathartic in many ways mm. for both of us. But it was yeah, lovely was... to act with him and have the yeah. great, wonderful British actress, Lindsay Duncan, in Tuscany. Uh-huh. We were there for four yeah. weeks. The first three weeks, it just poured with rain. I, it's a famous wine-growing area, Monticello we were in. And I, I actually saw wine growers crying because they said wow. it's the wettest it has been in 50 years. Finally, on the last week, we got like four days of that beautiful Tuscan sunshine. We needed a couple of sunrises and sunsets. So the movie gods came to our help in the last week, which was great. Wow. Well, I was going to ask you, and I haven't discussed this with you offline, but, you know, the movie is about a father and a son, um, and you you live in the UK, and you return to Italy with your estranged son to make a quick sale of the house that you inherited from your late wife. I mean, yes, there are so many, obviously, overlaps between your real life and um, this movie that it also seems like a painful place to go back to. I mean, was it, was it intense for you at all? Or was it, did it, it, did it open up a lot of conversation between you and Michael about Tosh and about what happened? It, it, it did and it didn't. Andy, when I first read it, I got, I, I literally got a, a, as if someone had just grabbed my gut and just twisted it. Yeah. And it was quite scary. And it, I, I have an English agent, and she had sent it over, Sue Latimer, she's called, lovely lady. And she said, listen, Liam, have a look at this. It's going to be directed by an actor called James Darcy, lovely guy, never directed before. I, he made a short movie. But I read it, and it it really made my gut turn because it was so, as you say, it touched on something Michael and I have both gone through, still going through, 11 years yeah. on after Natasha has died. Yeah. And I thought, gosh, this would be fantastic if I could do it with Michael. A yeah, couple yeah. of other younger actors were suggested. Um, but I, I handed it to Michael, my Michael, and said, Michael, just read this. I didn't tell him what it was about or anything. And he responded to it. He sort of looked at me after he read it. And I looked at him and I said, "Look, what do you think? Do you want to? Should we? Should we try and go through this together and see what happens?" And uh, he agreed. And uh, yes, Andy, it does. Of course, it touches on on very very delicate stuff. But you know, sometimes you see that's the wonderful thing about sometimes in art, and you can you can explore stuff and it's kind of safe, uh, especially with a film. Yes. That it was scripted by, <clears throat> excuse me, by James Darcy himself, who had a similar, he lost his father when he was young. Oh, wow. So mm. we were all kind of in this together, you know? Yeah. And, uh, it's brave um, of you guys to do. It was great. Know? Yeah. It was and great. also, yeah. I mean, it the was. fact that I you're mean, actors and it's your job to process right word, emotions, was, you know, is, is it I was guess, cathartic in, in, yeah. in lots of ways. It really was. 